So you want to learn color grading in Adobe Lightroom. Well, you are in the right spot because we're going to take this boring, bland image of Colorado and we are going to color grade it and we're going to turn it into this. Now, there's a lot of different ways you can go with color grading and it's ultimately up to you and you taking the artistic license to do whatever you want with the image. So I'm going to take you guys through my process and show you some of my techniques for color grading. So without further ado, let's hop right into this video. So this image, obviously, it looks bland. It's on a foggy day in Colorado. I photographed this with the Canon R8. My settings were ISO 200 at 70 millimeters f5 and 1 3 20th of a second and you can see the little bits of snow here we do have some color we have this greenish blue in these pine trees and some of these junipers and we have this nice red in the rocks but since we shot raw we need to do some processing so let's go ahead let's start off by doing some basic toning so we're going to open up our basic toning tab here and this is typically where I start. You can see the image is pretty cool, pretty flat. So we'll start with our profile. It is a landscape image. So I tend to use the Adobe landscape profile and you can already see we get a hint more color compared to our raw image. And that's looking pretty good so far. Let's warm up this image just a touch. It was a little too cool and you can start by color grading your image by doing color correction to your image first. So let's correct some of these colors and make this look the way we saw it in real life. And that looks pretty good. Let's stop right there. We warm this image up a little bit. I think that looks good. And our sky's a little bit, a little bit bright for my taste. So let's turn the exposure down maybe like a quarter of a stop. I think that looks good because as you can see in this image, we're going to go for a little bit of a darker, moodier image. We'll play with the contrast a little bit, make some of these colors pop and obviously do some tweaking to this color. So we are on the right track. We're going to add just a hint of contrast to this image, kind of make these colors pop, kind of make our tones pop. That looks pretty good. I don't need to go overkill. We'll bring down our highlights a hint so our snow's not overexposed. Bring up our shadows just a little bit, not too much. And then to add a little more contrast, we will bring up our whites and bring down our blacks a hair. So we've done some basic toning here that looks pretty good. And the snow is giving us just a little bit of haze or a haze effect. So I'm gonna use just a hint of dehaze just to give us some extra punch in these shadows. And I think, I think we're on the right track. Let's hit backslash on the keyboard. There's the before, and here's where we are right now. And I'm actually thinking, I think I'm gonna warm this image up just a little bit more. Let's go with right around 5,600, maybe, maybe 5,700. That's right around daylight white balance. And I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna bring up my vibrance, just a hint, not too much. So I'm liking where this is going. It's still feeling a little blah or a little bland when it comes to these colors. They could be much better. So that is what I do in my basic toning tab to get started. And next we're gonna go up to our calibration tab. And this is one of my favorite places to start playing with color when it comes to color grading in Adobe Lightroom. So I'm not a fan of where this is at so far. These trees could look better. They could look a little more green. So I'm gonna go up to my shadows and pump just a little bit of green into these shadows. Let's not take it too far. I think that looks pretty good. We have some more greens in our junipers. And then we'll take our red primary slider and we'll start playing with these rocks here and just a little bit of red. They were feeling a little orangish and I don't wanna go this way. It makes these rocks look kind of sickly. I think a little towards the red is where we should be. Maybe add a little bump to that saturation, not too much. And then take my green primaries. They're still feeling a little, a little flat. Let's bump a little bluish green. That looks good. Um, yeah, 
maybe a little little saturation there. I think that looks good. And then take our blue primaries and then we'll start sliding. We don't want to go too far and turn these rocks bright red because that just that doesn't work. So we're going to do just a tiny little hint towards the cyan just to play with our greens and our blues in these trees. And that is looking much better. We're going to hit backslash on the keyboard again. So we're taking that nice flat hazy image and we're starting to make it pop. We are well on our way to making this image look much better with a nice color grade. So let's go ahead and close our calibration tab. I think that looks good. I think our basic tab looks good. The only thing I may change is now that we've played with calibration, yeah, I'll add just a hint of vibrance just to bring out some more of these reds and some more of these greens. And if you happen to be editing a portrait, this is going to be quite similar. We have some blues and greens in the shadows, and a lot of our midtones are going to be this reddish orange and a little similar to skin tone. So you can probably follow along with this tutorial, even if you're editing portraits. But all of these techniques are going to be usable no matter what you're editing. Cityscapes, landscapes, street photography, weddings, or portraits. So you can use these same techniques, calibration, basic toning. And now we're going to hop into our color mixer tab in Adobe Lightroom. And this used to be called Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. You can see once we open the tab, it's still divided up into HSL or Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. And we're just going to do some tweaking to our colors and kind of step up our color grade to the next level. And then we will finalize it with this color grading tab. So let's take a look at our HSL tab, some of my favorite tools to use in Lightroom. And what we're going to do, we're going to start with our red. Sometimes it helps to wiggle these sliders around and see what they're actually affecting. And you can see our red slider really isn't doing much. Let's go down to our orange slider. Yeah, we can see our orange slider has a huge effect and we don't want to take it too far in either direction. So I may move these rocks a little bit towards the orange away from the yellow. Let's see what our yellow is doing. Yellow isn't doing much. It's just kind of affecting these patches of grass you can see over here. And they look a little sickly and a little dead, so maybe I'll tweak them and warm them up just a tiny bit. And again, we'll see where do our greens actually lie. We can look at these trees and say, yes, they're green, but where in our color palette do they actually lie? And they're going to be a little more in these aqua tones, and we'll move our blues maybe towards the green just a hint, or I kind of like that bluish look of these spruces. So that's looking pretty good for some hue tweaks in our image. Now let's scroll down to saturation. If we think anything's feeling a little too saturated, I think maybe these rocks are a touch too saturated. We'll take down the reds just a hint, play around with our oranges just a hint. I don't really need much yellow in this image. Maybe we'll just leave yellow alone and then we'll go ahead, maybe bump up our greens and our blues just a touch. And that's looking pretty good. Next, we'll go down to our luminance. And let's see again, not much red happening in this image. It's more so the orange. Oh, I like what that does. If we go ahead, you can see it's really happening in the highlights of these rocks, the oranges here. That looks pretty darn good. So in addition to color grading with this luminance, we're almost kind of doing some dodging and burning based on colors here. Not much happening with the yellow. Very subtle greens. You can see the yellow is more so in this grass over here. Our blues are the trees, but not a ton happening based on luminance. You can see there's some changes to the sky little bit to the trees, but I think we are okay when it comes to HSL. So again, just wiggle these sliders around until you get your image exactly to where you want. And with practice, you'll get a lot better at knowing exactly where you want these sliders to be. And this color mixer tab is really just magic. And last but not least, let's check out our color grading tab here in Lightroom. And we can see our midtones, our shadows, and our highlights. So to put the finishing touches on this image, you can see if we look at our final image here, as soon as it loads, we have some kind of bluish highlights. 
I added some color to our shadows and I tweaked our midtones a little bit. And it kind of has a film look to it, in my opinion. So let's go ahead, let's go back to our working image. And we are very close to the look that I want. Let's take our midtones and let's cool off our midtones. It's feeling a little bit warm. We'll start moving these circles around. We'll cool off our midtones because, again, it is a snowy day and we want it to feel a little snowy. So we'll brighten up our midtones just a touch and cool them down. So I think that looks pretty good for our midtones. Let's take our highlights and again, we're going to cool off our highlights here as well to give this foggy area up here a nice cool feel. And again, we don't want clipped highlights, so adding a little color to our highlights gives it that feel that they're not clipped. So we don't want to go too far. That is way too far in my opinion. We're going to bring it back a little bit. And that's a little technique I like to use is sometimes push it a little too far and then bring it back. So we will bring down our highlights just a touch, add that nice subtle blue, and that's looking pretty good. Now let's take a look at our shadows and our rocks are red and our trees are blue. Our highlights are blue, so maybe our shadows should be a little warmish. So we're playing with that color palette, the contrast of light and dark and warms and cools. So let's take our shadows here and move those towards a little bit of a warmer tone. Now it's easy to go too far with this, so just remember to be careful, take things slow. I don't wanna take anything too far in this image and overcook our image. So we're gonna really back off on the saturation here. And I think, I think that's about good. Maybe I'll move it towards the orange just a little bit. I'm clicking and dragging on this outside to change the hue. And then I am clicking and dragging on the inside of the circle to change the saturation. Now it is a little bit touchy, so you kind of have to be careful here. But again, just minor tweaks. We'll make our highlights here just a little darker. And I think that looks pretty darn good. Now you can do some color blending here. This will just kind of merge everything. If you have a contrasty complementary palette, it just kind of merges everything towards purple. So I'm not going to do any sort of color blending. And color balance will either push my image towards those shadows or towards those highlight colors, and I don't love that. So we'll leave both of those at zero, and we're pretty darn close, based on just kind of eyeballing this, we're pretty darn close to our final image here. I will make some minor tweaks. I always come back here and tend to make minor tweaks with white balance, and just kind of get this image exactly where I want it between white balance and my contrast, just play around with that toning. We'll add just a little bit more to the white tones, right kind of on the edge of the histogram there. Make our shadows a little more contrasty. And I'm actually very happy with where this image is. I think this looks pretty darn good, and I think it's a good stopping place. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on color grading in Adobe Lightroom. Again, we just went through, we did some basic calibrating, basic toning. We went through, we played with our color mixer, also known as our HSL sliders. And lastly, we did a touch of color grading. And let me know in the comments if you like this color grade and if you're gonna use these techniques in the future, let me know down below in the comments. So that's all for this video. If you found it useful, give me a thumbs up. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And until next time, get out and go shoot.